If I was better, actually, I am better. Which is why I'm going to Terra and go for a knockoff. Goes for Filet Away there, which is funny. Uh, because I'm going to Encore. I hope they Terra. Yep. Perfect. Filet's Away again. Oh, baby, you are finished. <laughs> what is going on, folks? I'm back here today. It's just me playing some OU. As usual, the opponent's side, they got five dragons. I was talking about this in the last video. There's too many dragons these days. Too many people are stacking up more than two dragons on the team. We got three dragons, no magnets on anymore. This guy's a perfect example. Five dragons, one king gambit. We're going to have to dispose of this, but... Using this team, I got it from my boy CTC, look pretty strong. Specs, Pelipper, and some other crazy sets like this Valiant, which is Spirit Break Knockoff, which is an absolutely crazy set. I've never used Iron Valiant, which is walled by King Gambit, but you have to learn something new every day. So this should be a fun little video for us to do. Um, I'm going to lead off with uh, Pelipper as Walking Wake with a booster special attack leads off. Cool. Um... I set up the rain for this joint, which is like bad as fuck. So <laughs> I have to retreat like right now. <laughs> Hits me with a half fun, so I hit him with the half fun because you gotta have fun, boy. Shit did way too much, first of all. Go for fucking thing there, it does way too much. I gotta lose him onto Hydro here, there's nothing I can do. Probably sack my shit Pelly. Shit doesn't do anything anyway. It's fucking useless. It goes for that. Um, that sucks, I guess. I mean, I probably died to Dragon Pulse, but whatever. Yeah, or I died to Hydro Pump. I was gonna say, this shit is, like, not bulky, so I was assuming I just die. Yeah, so we insta-die there. Good job, Pelipper. You deserve a good rest. This is why I don't run meme mons like this, because they don't do anything. You just pray to God that they'll do something, but they don't do anything. I go for a fucking spirit break there and drop his special attack as he goes for a agility, um... Definitely a greedy play by them uh, to Terra and Agility. I feel like they don't got to do all that shit immediately, but whatever. It's still definitely an uphill battle for me. Their team is really frustrating to go up against. The good thing is the Terra's out the way, but I mean, dragons are dragons, right? These are Pokemon that they don't need to Terra. They just attack, attack, attack. I would have liked my Specs Pelly so I could Ice Beam everything too, but whatever. Shit happens. Uh, I mean, as long as my Chomp... I know my chomp, my great tusk is alive. That's pretty damn solid. Team is very ground weak, so... Okay, this goes into this, which gets a plus speed boost, which I can't really do anything about um, at all. Uh, this thing just DDs up and then sweeps everybody. It's kind of how Pokemon is these days. Oh, wait, I go into my Gambit. Yeah, cool. Um, I'll go for low kick. Hopefully it doesn't Terra. He does... Oh, he can't Terra. Cool, 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 cool. So I Oko... I Oko Roaring Cheat there. With a, with a low kick. Fortunately, yeah, he already teared his wake. So we get out of that situation perfectly. Um, he brings in this cheese. I got a tusk, though. He goes for fire blast, which is nasty. That would have done a lot. That would have done a lot. Let me go into my other guy on uh, on Draco here. Goes for fire blast again and missed. LOL. That's funny. Um, I'm going to go for a SD here. Because what else am I going to click, right? As he fire blasts, yeah, I figured, but that worked out for me. Um, spirit break, knock that shit out. The double miss is crazy, I'm not gonna lie. The double miss is actually pretty unfortunate for them. Um, but I will always take that bullshit with me, so. You. I go into Pex as he goes for a life orb fire blast. If that does that much, that means Draco just narrowly doesn't kill me. Uh, as it turns out to be darts, which is weird. Uh, I go into Pex again. Shadow Ball does that much. I feel like I live darts. Okay. Goes into King Gambit. I just SD here. Um, as he suckers. Now I Encore this shit. Uh-oh. Nice. That doesn't help me at all. <laughs> I go Pex here. Because it's going to cover Pult. Exactly. Yeah. Goes into Gambit here. Which is understandable. Um, I can go Tusk though. There's more than fine. As Pult comes back in, which is cool. My no, Pex is still very free, though. As he goes for Shadow Ball, gets a drop, which is fine. I just Ice Beam every time. Um, Iron Head's there. Does a lot. Does a lot for sure. I Stealth Rock up here, though, because I don't want to get outplayed to shit. Actually, let me just knock. What am I saying? Dragonite comes in. as heavy-duty boots. 
I don't know if this is a threat, to be honest. It's like maybe a threat, but probably not a threat, especially if I Terra and I trick it, right? No, I don't want to trick it. I don't have anyone to turn into a bird type. I could lose if I trick this. Let me think about this. But Terra and trick it, is that a good play? I feel like it is. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 yeah. Okay, I figured. Yeah, okay, 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 I figured, I figured. So now, now we absolutely win. Um, like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty damn certain. Uh, we got it from here. I just go into my Ging, Ging Gambit as it goes into Pult. There's no way the Pult is last move Wisp, right? With, uh, with a Life Orb on it. I got lucky this game, though. I got to keep that all the way honest. Um, I definitely got pretty lucky this game. With Fire Blast missing twice. That was pretty unfortunate for them. That was like next level unlucky. It was in a King Gambito. Shit cannot kill me with a Katal Blade, unfortunately. Um, it was in a D Knight. I wonder what Ice Beam does. I'm curious. Probably does. It killed? No way. Good job, Pex. That max special attack Pex putting in that work. So, despite Pelipper's mean bullshit not doing anything, the rest of the team is able to put in work. I mean, I lucked. I'm not going to hold you. The double Fire Blast missed was a big deal because my Tusk would have taken a ton. Like, at least 50. And then my uh, Valiant also would have taken a good amount. So, unfortunate for the other guy. But for us, shame on! Alright, so, they got some they got some threats. If I'm them, I'm leading off with somebody good in a Golden Go. Somebody good in a Golden Go is uh, Miascarada or um, Tuskathy. I'm lead off with Pelipper or Pex. The issue with leading Pex is that it always gets knocked off, and I don't want that shit. Leads off with Garganical. Oh, buddy, you're crazy for that one. Nice play. So, stays in with Garg turn one, expecting me not to be specs, but I need to ask my guy one thing. Where are the rain abusers on my team, bro? So, that's all I gotta ask. I surf here, and I'm faster. No, this is a... No, this is not good, bro. This is looking fucking terrible for you. Goes for a Psychic. Another Psychic's gonna come out as I Oko with Sludge Bomb, because we got that max special attack AV, boy. Come on, bro. This is a disaster for the opponent. This is like pure disaster for the opponent. I sag that shit because I don't need it anymore. Um, I go into my Gambito. I just low kick here as he U turns. Oh, fuck. U turns annoying. I'm not going to hold you. Let's go into this. Is he Earthquakes? Alright, I'll Earthquake back. The thing is, the Tusk cannot beat me. I have Unc. Not the Tusk cannot beat me. The, uh,. The fucking uh, Gambit cannot beat me as long as I have Encore. As long as Encore is in the back, we should be safe. All right, that happens. Um, I just tricked this garbage as he knocks off. Yup. Game over. Bring in Big Buddy. Spirit break it up. Yup, that shit did no damage, actually. I'm not going to hold you. That did negative damage. I'm a bit surprised at how negative that damage was. If there was a contest for most negative damage of all time, that might be the winner of the most negative damage of all time. What is this going to do? Okay, he just sacks it immediately, hoping I'd Terra, I guess. Did you Terra yet? Oh, nobody terra actually. Interesting game. Goes for Flower Trick there, and then dies to next turn, sucker. Wow, that was a very, very fast win. You know, I want to thank the opponent for making Pelipper look like LeBron James, because... I really thought Pelipper was going to have another, you know, terrible showing. But no, that was fucking all-star LeBron James, D1 exterminator Pelipper. I was very, very pleased. I was very pleased with that performance. Good job. Rest of the team put in work too. This Pex works OT, walling everybody and putting up big damage. This is like the new Tapufini. This is the new Tapufini of the generation. This AV shit. We just eating up all the hits. We going back with that big damage. He thought, he thought his Valiant was safe to click that second Psychic. He said, ooh, 34. That looks pretty good. No, no, sir get cooked matter of fact so so far this team is working out very well i'm very pleased um i mean this is a pretty regular uh sort of build it's nothing like revolutionary where is the build where did i put that shit oh okay whatever Ooh, i like this team gengar and sarah ledge i love the new sprites and i especially love anything and everything that has to do with sarah ledge because that is the mod dude that is the mod it just looks cool all the time all right, so let's see. I like their team. I probably lead off with. Mm, 
I mean, they have a Bax. And every time I see Bax, I've said it before. I see Bax, I'm instantly scared. Bax is like one of the most annoying Pokemon ever. Have fun. Oh, he's tapped in. You know, I, you know I pulled up. I pulled up. All right, so I think Pex is like the best lead, probably. I think Pex is probably the best lead, all things considered. There is an annoying ass Backscalibur, though. All right, whatever. I'm leading off with this. Leads off with annoying ass Backscalibur, the cheapest mon of all time. Um, let's just sludge bomb here, right? I don't know what else to do. Shit is a big ass threat. Goes into Hatterene and gets a sludge bomb. Looks like I made the perfect play. Uh, which is great. I can just surf here. Um, bro has to nuzzle to get any sort of anything out of this turn. Nuzzle has to come out. So, yeah. I don't really lose anything by clicking surf here. There's really no play that they can go for that can save them. Unless they Terra into a Psychic type and have Psy Shock. Because they're not specs, right? So they don't kill me with nothing. So I just go for a surf and knock them out. And I basically come out on top of that exchange. Hat going down is great. That was one of the best counters to my Valiant. Now I just have to be a little bit careful. Um, Backscalibur comes back in though. I'm going into Valiant here. We'll see if it's... Uh, he goes for SD. Hmm. Hmm. Let me Encore here. Should I? I mean, I don't have uh, Moonblast. So I can't kill this anyway. Okay, he goes in a ledge. Okay, that's fine. If he goes into ledge, I take that as a premier opportunity to sack my Pelipper. I lose my Valiant speed boost, but that is more than irrelevant. Um, I just Hurricane here very freely. This is actually the best possible scenario for me, I think, uh, to get a free Hurricane off. Goes for a Icicle Crash, which is great. Completely sacks uh, the biggest threat. Do I need this anymore? Doubtful. I feel like this has more than done its job. Um, this goes for Glaive Rush anyway. Understandable, sir. Bring in my Valiant now, and I just go for a... I think I just go for a knockoff. Hope he doesn't go Tusk. That would be annoying. Uh, stays in and just sacks it. Okay, Dragon Fang is scary. I still think my Iron Val is going to win for sure. Pelipper goes down, but not at the cost of nothing, right? We get rid of the nastiest threat ever. Backs, backs, backs. Why must you... Bring me such pain, Backscalibur. Cheap ass Pokemon, simply put. Uh, in comes Gar. Now, him bringing in Gar makes me believe that it's absolutely a Sash Gengar. No other reason you'd bring it in like that. Um, it's certainly Sashed, I think. Let's see. Certainly it's Sashed. Goes for a nasty plot there, which is cool. Um, I probably sack somebody here now, just to get a free turn later. Uh, now that I've been dropped, I feel like I want to keep my gambit for his gambit uh, But I don't want to set gold, but gold's like not that useful seeing as I do have a valiant in the back, right? I don't think gold is that useful goes for focus blast. So now I look like the greatest player to ever play period um, Wow, that was crazy So we basically just make the greatest play in Mons history right there with a switch and a golden go Damn. So he really expected my King Gambit to come in, but I literally cannot risk my King Gambit by any means. That shit is extremely important. Uh, I ring in Great Tusk as Gengar does just come back in, but I'm not really worried about nasty plotting as Gengar because I have an AV on my pecs. And we can just make the same plays we made before, which are uh, going into Golden Go. Like, Golden Go here is probably fine on nasty plot, you know? Or, uh, or a double. Either one is fine, I think. Plus... I think he's trying to scout out if I have Focus Blast on my Golden Go, which might be a bit of a worry for them. I don't know though, maybe I made that up. Maybe I do just Surf. It looks like they don't really have any real switch-ins to my team anyway, but I don't want him nasty plotting for free. Whatever, I'll just Surf. Let me just Surf, it's fine. I don't need to make all these uh, overly ambitious plays. Do I? Maybe I do. You never won by being pussy. You never won by being pussy. Remember that. You never won by being pussy. It's math at its finest. You never win by being pussy. So, remember that one thing, folks. You never win by being pussy. Uh, we're going to go for Shadow Ball here. As King Gambit continues to come in. Uh, he wants to get the correct plays with Gengar every time. I get it, but it's not going to happen in this universe. <coughs> uh, let's see here. 
Gambit continues to take chip, which is great. Basically nullifies the need for my tusk every time that shit continues to take damage. I put on my own rocks here, right? Because tusk is coming in from his side 100%. That's a given. And we want to be able to pressure that thing as much as we can. Um, yep, so great tusk comes in there. From my calculations, this tusk is a little annoying. It's probably just going to knock off, though. Yep. Turns out he's a little fast, too. Okay. But I just spam EQ. If he wants to spin, I think that's fine with me. Yep, and now I go golden go here on spin. Even if he EQs, I think it's fine. Yep, figured. Cool. So golden go comes in here, and basically golden go gets every play this game. This is what it looks like. It looks like golden go has gotten every single play this game. Um... I mean, I can go back into my tusk. If he wants to make the double, that's a good double. But I don't really worry about that. Yeah. Goes for Iron Head. Well, judging from that math, Sucker does not KO. Is he teared yet? Nobody's teared yet. Okay, hold on. Let me think then. Let me think then. He hasn't teared yet. Um, hmm. Gambit is a bit annoying. Do I want a double? Do I want an EQ? I think I just want an EQ. Yeah. Let's just EQ. But, and we get a crit, which I don't know if it mattered. I feel like it didn't matter at all. Do I need this? Not nah, Valiant's alive. But that ledge is annoying, though. I got tricked for that dumb ledge. Also, he spins for no reason. Probably hoping that I'd switch, but there is no switch uh, for me. So, like, there's no switch at all, right? So, in comes Gengar again, that walkie slush. I bring in Pex on Shadow Ball, yup. Um, we're going to surf here. On nasty plot yes sir then we're going to sack great tusk this is all very formulaic i think um in deval we just go for a spirit break no no we don't go for a spirit break we go for a knockoff no we spirit break fuck it yeah because if anything want is going to get disabled i want it to be spirit break i want it to be spirit break for sure that shit is cheap all right, let's see what happens with this gambit. Is that shit low kick? It's not. It's iron head. How could it be low kick? Unless it's four attack, in which case you cheated. Um, let's see here, though. You could bring in ledge here. Go for a... I mean, the ledge is obviously going to be that sash weak armor shit. That's what they all are, as it does just come in. Yep. Um... Pax on SD. He's SDing every time. Like, we know that is happening for sure. So if I knock... That's fine. Oh, he bitterbladed in crit. That's a wrong play. Actually, it's a shiesty play, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't expect the, the crit. Luckily, we lived the crit, though. So that's really good. And would have been really bad had we not lived the crit. But we do live the crit, so we're chilling. Um, turns into a grass type there and SDs, which is definitely in bottom five tarot's of all time. Um, especially because I got this big ass sludge bomb ready to go. That's, that's top five worst tarot's of all time. So, Bitterblade does a lot, not gonna lie, but that's that. Game's done. Goes into King Gambit here. Um, I just surf here. If it wants to SD, that's fine. Goes for Katow Cleave. I bring in Valiant. I SD. And then I teach him a lesson. Do I? Let me SD just teach him a lesson. This is unnecessary. But I want a lesson to be taught. Do I need to do this? Oh, a bad play is a bad play. No matter what way, you make the bad play. Alright, he's not low kick max speed jolly. It's literally not possible. I literally did all calculations possible. I literally did all math possible in this entire galaxy. That's never going to happen. So, we're able to get out of there. And phew, I'm not gonna lie, Golden Goat got off the greatest performance ever. That was a star showing. That was a MVP performance. Good job, buddy. Good job for real. That was, I really can't complain. Like, came in on every attack, walled everybody. It, it was really looking like it had all those immunities with the ghost type. Came in on everything. Good job. Good job, buddy. So, we got a, we got a pretty good team here. This guy only has two dragons, which I like. I told y'all about dragon inflation many times. Even referenced it earlier in today's video. Uh, but dragon inflation is very real. So, Roaring Moon and Dragapult, those are two of the more annoying ones to face. Bax being the most annoying one to face. If I'm them, I'm probably going to lead off with something good into Gold or Pelipper. Just went long on agency stock with 20x leverage. My, my man. <laughs>
<laughs> he said he just went along with the 20x leverage. He's he's a sick man. Ain't nothing, uh, nothing else to say about this shit. He's a sicko. I'll lead off with my pecs as Pult leads off. Um, I'm going to go for Ice Beam here as King Gambit comes in. I go for a free surf here, though. I don't really lose nothing from that. Goes back in a Pult here. Cool. I Infestation here, though. Get that big chip on whoever, whatever, however. Okay, cool. Um, King Gambit comes in here to take another surf from me. We like that, though. We like that a lot. Goes for SD, though. All right, I still have my uh, Tusk, though, which is fine. Goes for Iron Head, which is a nice play. Um, but I can just knock. Into Valiant. Ooh, nice play. Nice play. I go into my pecs, though. I think this is special. Goes for a Psy Shock. That won't help you. That can't save you here. Um, going to my own King Gambit because it stops Psy Shock and his King Gambit. Facts. Um, I go Pelly here on his Tusk, I think. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Now we finally have some type of initiative after like 46 turns of being wrong. Goes into Pult Sex and I'm Specs. Phew. All right. So we get rid of that. That's awesome. Pult was a nuisance. Uh, but I honestly don't think his team can even break Pex plus uh, Tusk. The biggest threat on their end is the Acro Moon, right? Acro Moon is always a big threat. However, I have a Balloon King Gambit, which... Let me tell you something about Balloon King Gambit. That boy has one roll and one roll only. Ooh, shit. That did a lot. Anyways, that boy has one roll and one roll only. I need him to just wall. Wall, wall, wall. Roaring Cheat. Roaring Cheat is broken, all right? Roaring Cheat is literally broken. And I need... I need him to do his job, which is wall all potential sets of that guy. That shit is busted. Goes for that. Okay. Um, I just go for a Suicide Rocks. As he trades into me, which I honestly think was great for us. Because uh, I'm bringing in Pelipper here on the Cinderace. Which is definitely coming in. Because they're thinking, fuck, I got a Court Changes away. Absolutely, I got a Court Changes away. I know how they work. He's thinking, I got a Court Changes away. Told you. Told you. And of course, he's going to think, I must Court Change these or it's over for me. It lived. No, bruh. That is... No, bruh. Why you living, bruh? That's very against my plans. Okay, that's fine. I believe it's over for them. Um, the Terra would have to be something insane. I think the Tusk is going to Terra in the back or whatever. This critting my pecs was really unfortunate, but whatever. I just go to my gold here. Goes for a fucking Thunderbolt. Okay. Um... And make it rain here. Turns an electric type. Interesting. Let me spirit break here. Yeah, I got a spirit break. Unfortunately, I don't have moon blast. Because if I did, you already know what was going to happen if I had that blast on me, if I had that thing on me. Hmm. This is actually kind of difficult. Um, this is actually kind of difficult. Let me think about this. I guess them terroring their Valiant is kind of good for me, in a sense, because now the other two can't Terra, but what would the other two have even done that would have been like, oh shit, I'm fucked, you know? Either way, I think we're very safe. I have Encore on this guy. Uh, I think it's fine. I think it's honestly fine. Um, I'm pretty sure Pelipper is going to end up sweeping, or Gambit will, yeah. In comes Roaring Cheat, which also gets a speed boost, interestingly enough. Fortunately, though, I just turn into... A dark type probably right probably i can't get acro by that cheater shit yeah so oh it's over it's over because tusk comes in and i just spirit break the hell out of it and then i encore afterwards it's over for sure for tusk yeah i encore tusk afterwards this is done this is done turning into a dark type definitely confirmed that we're good yeah because he goes for that but it does way too much yeah i just go into Pelly here there's no terra left for you little guy you can't go long on the agency leverage against me GG. That was a good game. That was a good game. Everything did its job. We continue our climb up to 1873. Ooh, plus 20. I like that. When inflation doesn't hit, I like that. All right, so next we got an Orthworm team featuring Venezuela. Folks, if you're wondering why my name is now in all caps, it's because I'm actually recording this a few hours later. I had to go leave, but I didn't forget. Don't worry. I would never post just a 20-minute showdown video. We still got to put, you know, another like 15 or 20 or so in there. You know, a little, little surprise. Who knows what happens? I, I could lose the next three battles. We may never know. But let it never be said that I was a coward because I did come back to the ladder for more smoke. All right? I would never leave. I would never leave the ladder like that. I'm going to lead off with Peli as Glamora leads. She, I don't like that at all. Let's go Pex. 
power jump comes out okay obviously he's gonna be able to do whatever goes into pult here uh which is fine with me i hit that shit with an ice beam as it goes for that oh this is some bullshit <laughs> i'm gonna my tusk let me get a brox here goes for wisp oh this is some bullshit <laughs> curses what the fuck this is some bullshit <laughs> this is some bullshit <laughs> goes into indidai uh which i'm not even really worried about goes into orth as i knock that shit off uh i go into my booster dude though right because i just sd and then i encore anybody into their bullshit and then i cook them from there i think it's cooked for them Cause I'm gonna encore anybody. It's over. Pelly didn't even have to come in. I don't like screens, bro. Especially when you have all this going on. The screens plus the terrain. Pl like, can there be any honesty at all in your team? I'm begging you. Just one little lick of honesty. I'm begging you. But hey, it is what it is. Now, if I was better, actually I am better. Which is why I'm gonna Terra and go for a knockoff. Goes for fillet away there, which is funny. Uh because I'm gonna encore. So, let's see. I hope they Terra. I hope they Terra. Yep. Perfect. Fillets away again. Oh, baby, you are finished. <laughs> Yo! You already know what's gonna happen the next turn. We're gonna fillet away again to negative 43%. <laughs> Yo, this is the best game of all time. I gotta save this replay. This is the funniest. This is the funny. <laughs> Yo, he got super goofed. <laughs> Yo, that's gonna be the worst fate of all time. <laughs> You think you're about to get off the greatest cheese of all time and then you just get encored into filet away. <laughs> you trapped in that bitch, you can't do nothing, you're stuck. Just enjoy that loss. Enjoy that. <laughs> Yo, that was funny. That was really that was really amazing. Veluza, unfortunately, I am the master of Veluza. Other other people, they're not allowed to use Veluza. I'm the Veluzinator. Alright. <laughs> That's a nasty nasty way to go out he turned into a fire type too thinking that he was gonna take on the uh what's it called the fairy move which is which is fair i turned into a dark type that turn because i thought that they would know that if they fillet away i'm still faster but they just decided that they would terra and like predict me correctly or whatever but also like the odds are so skewed out of their favor there they should have just attacked so that's why i turned uh dark type because if i was them i would have gone right for the psychic cutter or whatever it's called and just taking the kill in theory but of course i turned into a dark type anyways that was pretty funny great uh great battle those are the kind of games they give me life you know i think we, we got a good amount of points from him too we got like plus 15 they felt showdown was probably like damn the way you played that the what you just did there sir shit we, we're gonna give you a plus 15 no disrespect intended i said thank you very much okay so they got a nice claude zire offense two dragons all right not too much dragon inflation and these are og dragons so i'm not too i'm not too concerned leads off with valiante i'm gonna sludge bomb turn one because i mean he let off with it and it consumed its booster immediately makes me believe it's certainly t-bolt or psy shock and he predicted my own pelipper to lead off with uh goes into claude zire here which is fine Let me, this is like probably the water resist, right? Let me serve. Okay. Stop the rock. Okay. Let me infest as he goes for earthquake. Okay, cool. Let's see. Earthquakes into me here as I just go for the rocks of my own, probably. Their best play is to toxic or go into golden go. Or, uh, I mean, you could go hard valiant, but. I think Hard Valiant is an overly aggressive play for them to make immediately. You can go Hydreigon too. Hydreigon's actually pretty good versus me. Ah, uh, let's see here. Yeah. They got up rocks pretty well. I wish they stayed in with their Valiant. Usually when they lead off with Valiant and they consume booster immediately, it's like, oh shit. They they they'll just stay in. That's how a lot of the games have gone. So them switching out was a smart play. Also, it's gonna be a bitch to kill this Claude Zire, I'm realizing, because 
I mean, surfed at 28 and it's leftovers. So it's going to be very difficult to uh, wear this thing down over time. Either way, again, I'm just going for rocks. That's the best play for me to make. I want to get initiative on his team. I don't want Claude and Hydreigon coming in every time at 100%. In comes D Knight. This could probably be special, but I also don't have a like a great counter to this at all. Um, I'm just going Golden Go as he goes for Hurricane. Okay, that's interesting. Um, it's DD Hurricane, which is whatever. Okay, cool. Um, okay, cool. I'll just trick here. Will I? I kind of want to trick here, though. Could go into Gambit. I'm going to just trick here, though. Fuck, dude. Come on now. Golden Go. You were supposed to trick him into DD. This is so stupid. You hit your shit and you hit. This is, this is how every game goes, brothers. It's how every game goes. Every single game, yeah, get tricked, noob. All right, cool. So he's bad, so it lets me do that for free. Uh, cool. So I got a couple of options here. I can go into Big Pelly and just surf. I think that's the option I'm going to take, actually. Uh, please don't go Hydreigon. Went Golden Go and sacked it. Yes! All right, goal was a, goal was a big ass goober threat. Um, Okay, that's good for us. The Dragonite is Scarf now, too, so that shit's barely a threat. This shit wants to come into T-Bolt. I know exactly what's being clicked here. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, that was obvious. Um, the T-Bolt there. Alright, let's see if he's he's got the balls to T-Bolt again. You really like that? You really you really missed a bolt? Yeah, you're not missed a Thunderbolt. Sorry. Okay, it goes into Valley. It goes into Hydra. Probably gonna sub or some shit. Yup. I Encore that shit right here into Flash Cannon. Or whatever the fuck. Uh, goes into claw. Damn. Let me turn into a dark, probably. I think that's what I want to do. Do I? Gambit can win, maybe. Goes for toxic. I mean, that's fine for me. I did a lot there. I just knock again. Uh, kill this. I don't think they're going to go valiant. Because I got a plus speed, so... I had to turn dark there to guarantee that I knocked this out. Maybe knock into Terra Dark knock was actually the play. If that killed in two, but I feel like it didn't. Either way, we get rid of the Claude, which I think is good for us and opens up to a peck sweep later on. In comes Ace, the threat to end all threats, but I'm going into my pecs. U turns out. Good play. Good play, good play, good play. Brings in Hydreigon here. I'm Ice Beaming though. Yeah, it goes for that, but. Uh, has they terrored yet? They have not terrored yet. I go Val here. Probably on a... Yeah. I have Ice Beam, bro. Deal with it. Deal with it. Got JPEG. Unfathomably based. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. He's a fan. I'm a fan too, though. Alright, I'm thinking he's gonna Drake and or Plot and or Terra and sub either way i think this is going to use the terra because who else is going to terra the ace which doesn't win the vow which doesn't win you know the vow can win if it's calm mind like terra fighting some insanity and it wins a tie and all this other shit that won't happen either way i'm assuming a, a sub is coming here goes for drake i go into val and dodge it which is fucked might be yo that is fucked sorry to brody it's really that's really unfortunate um yeah that's really unfortunate i'm not gonna lie it's cool bro unfortunate no no that, that sucked that sucked with you using ice beam to space i think it's fine <laughs> i could go into my tusk here but i don't want hydra to come in uh for free that would be shitty Oh, to space, it's ice, ice Beam Tox effects. He's a fan of the Ice Beam pecs, it would seem. Uh, in comes Hydra again. Um, just gonna Ice Beam. It looks like he doesn't want to Terra even. Oh, he does finally Terra. And he plots, which is a good play by them. Um, I mean, it could sub, but I don't think it will. Oh, he did sub. Nice play. Has to Drake though to kill me, so that's okay, I think. Yeah, had to Drake to kill me, so I think I get out of there like okay enough. Because I can go Val, 
break the shit sub with a knock, and then confirm the victory with pecs, 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 pecs. Yeah. I think I just knock. Yeah. I definitely just knock. Break this thing sub. He made a good play, made a good play. Turning into fire type, subbing up, all that shit. Got all the plays. I thought about sludge bombing on turn 21 for that reason, which was definitely the play. Because they're not going to sub after... I should have definitely not ice beamed. Sludge bomb was quite certainly always the play. That was a shit play by me. I don't know if I also lift plus two Drake, but I wasn't going to risk it. Um, I go into bro here. I can just go for surf. Uh, the biggest threat on their side is Dragonite clicking Hurricane over and over and over again. That shit could be a threat, honestly. That shit honestly could be a threat, yeah. Oh, but they sack the thingy there, which is great. Okay, probably Dragonite comes in now to go for Earthquake. Yeah, but I'm just going into Gambit because Gambit is super free on everything. Goes for Hurricane and confuses me. Yo, no, sir. All right, in comes Pex, though, so we're good about that. Um, I'm pretty sure I go into Tusk and I don't risk it, but let's see. Whatever, who gives a fuck? All right, goes for a U-turn, though. Should have U-turned. I mean, I should have ice beamed. Goes for that. Okay. One of my tusk though now. The final sack is the earthquake. Perfect, 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 perfect. Um, I mean, it's whatever for me. I just rapid spin. Even if they sack the shit, it doesn't actually make a difference because Pex always uh, wins, I think, from this position. Yeah, I think there's no uh, actual move that they can lock themselves into, which would save them in this. Yeah, it goes for last ditch effort side shock, but it's not going to matter. I don't need to spin. That's a greedy play. Going to my pecs here, and that should be that. We just sludge bomb, and then sucker punch the D knight to end it off. Yo, that was a sp spicy end game. I lucked though. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. That Drake meteor miss was big. Drake <laughs> meteor miss was big. I can admit it though. I admit it, I admit it. I hexed him. I admit it, I admit it. In comes D-Knight. Uh, yeah, I just ice beam this. And then in comes Gambito to kill it with Sucker Punch because it's Scarf now. Not bad. But also confused my gold when I tricked it a Scarf. So we'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah, yeah. He got a full confusion on my trick, my trickery. How many points did we get for that? Plus six. What? That's it? 1580 yo you should have given me a bigger bag what also yo that's it only a plus six man come on showdown i was i was fighting for my life that game plus six damn that's tough they, they deserve more points we end today's climb at a modest 1887 where'd the game go give me back my game <laughs> whatever bro all right so that's gonna be that hope y'all enjoyed Drop a big like if you did. I'll be back with more. I'll probably be streaming later today. Maybe something with Joey. Maybe some showdown. I don't know. Tap into that. Drop a big like. We're trying to get 1,500 by tomorrow. Let me know what you thought of this team. I thought this shit was pretty crazy. All right. Peace.